I was just talking with Crystal. What's new with our oldest daughter? Another new boyfriend a day? No, she was telling me about Paul and Timothy. Are those her last two boyfriends? No. They were men in the Bible. Paul I've heard of, but who is Timothy? Timothy? Oh yeah, he was Bob Cratchit's son. Wasn't that Tiny Tim? No, Tiny Tim was the guy who sang tiptoe through the tulips. Oh? I don't think Bob Cratchit was in the Bible. I think he was in the story by Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol. You know, with Mr. Scrooge. You could be right. I always get Mr. Scrooge confused with Donald Duck's Uncle Scrooge. So, why is our daughter talking to you about these people? She wanted help with her Sunday school lesson. Really? You should have told her just like the good book says, that God helps those who help themselves. That won't work anymore. Why not? Isn't she the one who says we should use the Bible as a guide for our lives? Well, yes. But the last time you told her that God helps those who help themselves, she told me that wasn't in the Bible. You're kidding me. Of course it's in there. She just doesn't know it. Honey, Crystal told me she's read the whole Bible, more than once, and it's not there. The Bible's got to be over 1,000 pages. That takes a long time to read. When did she read it? In the three days between boyfriends? On one of the cover pages of her Bible, she writes down every time she finishes it. She says she starts at the beginning of Genesis and reads four pages every day. Until she gets to the end of Revelation. She says it takes around a year. Still, she must have overlooked that verse. I don't think so. We don't even know what's in the Bible and what's not. We don't know who Timothy is. I'm thinking we should read it for ourselves. In just a few years, she'll be married and have children of her own. I think we should be able to tell our grandchildren what the Bible really has to say.